Hello everyone, welcome to the first EMC preparation lesson. Today we'll cover algebra, and specifically we'll cover ratios and percentages. What are ratios? A ratio is a way of comparing two sets of objects, indicating how many times larger one set is when compared to the other. For example, three cups of red water and seven cups of blue water form a ratio of three to seven. What are percentages? A percentage is the value that shows the amount of the part of a whole that something represents when compared to something else. It is expressed as a fraction over 100. You can convert between a fraction and a percentage by, by setting the denominator of a fraction to 100 and multiplying the numerator by the same value. Connecting ratios, percentages, and fractions. Ratios, percentages, and fractions are just three different types of ways of comparing two different sets. A ratio of 3 to 10 is the same as the fraction 3 tenths and is the same as the percentage 30%. The 3 to 10, 3 tenths, or 30% could possibly be comparing the number of correct questions on an exam to the total number of questions on the exam. Exercises. Convert 30% to a fraction. Convert 2 to 10 to a simple ratio. Convert 0 0.19 into a fraction. Please take some time to solve these questions by yourselves, and then we'll go over the, the answers. So the answers. 30% is equal to 30 over 100. We do this because we move the percent and divide by 100. From 30 to over 100 to 3 over 10, we divide by 10 in the numerator and, and the denominator. From 2 to 10 to 1 to 5, you divide by 2 in both sides. From 0 0.19 to 19 over 100, you, move, you multiply 100 to the numerator and divide by 100 in the denominator. Problems. Please take some time to solve these problems by ourselves, and then we'll go over the solutions. Problem number one. A 12-foot piece of rope is cut into two pieces with lengths in a ratio of one to three. How many inches long is the longest piece? So if we let x be the length, if we let x be the length of the smaller piece, and 3x be the length of the largest piece, of the larger piece, we know that both of them added together equals 12. So x plus 3x equals 12, 4x equals 12, meaning that x equals 3. And since x equals 3, the longer piece is 3x, and 3x is equal to 9. In a middle school, the ratio of 6th graders to 7th graders is 7 to 10. If there are 9 more 7th graders than 6th graders, how many total 6th graders are there in the school? So, in this problem, we simply say the number of 7th graders to 10th graders, 6th graders to 7th graders, sorry, is 7x to 10x. If there are 9 more 7th graders to 6th graders, that means that 7x plus 9 equals 10x, meaning that 9 equals 3x and that x equals 3. So how many total 7th graders, 6th graders are there in the school? 7x is the total number of 6th graders in the school. x equals 3, 7x equals 21. The ratio of pens to pencils in a drawer is 4 to 7. The ratio of pencils to erasers in a drawer is 6 to 11. If the ratio of pens to erasers is written as a fraction, A will be in simplest form. What is the value of A plus B? So the ratio of 4 to 7 is the same as the ratio of 24 to 42. And the ratio of 6 to 11 is the same as the ratio of 42 to 77. We want to connect the two ratios and make form one big ratio. So we multiply by the least common, we multiply by, uh, we, we find the least common multiple and set that as the middle value. So the ratio is 24 to 42 to 77, meaning the ratio of pens to erasers is 24 to 77. And, can that, and since that cannot be simplified, 24 plus 77 is our answer, which is 101. So that's it for today's video, and thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and share and like this video, as well as turn on the notification bell. Thank you.